Hello and welcome to the Android Guys in Brief podcast. My name is Scott Webster. Today is January the 20th. It's June. Hello and welcome to the Android Guys in Brief podcast. My name is Scott Webster. I'm the editor-in-chief for the website. Today is Thursday, June the 21st, 2018. And this is your In Brief podcast, which means it's your short, sweet, to the point podcast of the news that we think you should know uh, as it pertains to Android or the smartphone space. We record these twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays as we kind of gather the things that kind of bubble to the top. We're going to do things a little bit differently today, as you can maybe tell by now. This is a solo show. Uh, we're playing with the format. want to see how this works as a standalone uh, more to the point, more news, give you what you need and get out. Uh, so with that said, I'm going to get out of the way and jump right into the news so that you guys know what's going on. First up, Motorola announced today or confirmed today that it is now offering the Z3 Play uh, that is available for pre-order. You can get that from Motorola.com as well as Best Buy, b and Amazon, uh, and other retailers will start to roll out as well. Uh, for now, the phone is $499.99, and it does come with a free Moto Mod from Motorola. The specifications on the phone, if you're looking at those, you're going to find this has a 6-inch display. This runs from a uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 636 processor, 1.8 gigahertz. That's an octa-core CPU. You're going to get 4 gigs of RAM with 64 gigabytes of internal storage. You can add a micro SD card for 2 terabytes of space for all of your media. Around back, you've got a 12 megapixel and 5 megapixel dual camera setup. And at the front side, you've got an 8 megapixel wide angle camera for your selfies or your group shots. If you get it through Motorola, you're going to pay $499.99. If you go through Amazon, you can get it for $450. And that's a $50 discount, but in exchange, you're going to get some Amazon applications preloaded on there, including the Amazon Widget, Amazon Shopping, and Amazon Alexa. So depending on where you do your shopping, if it's worth it to save the 50 bucks, you can do that. Uh, staying with that, you can also now get the Moto G6 Play from Amazon as well. Uh, this one is $190. Uh, it is... Uh, Available, basically a $10 discount. Uh, this one is going to uh, be released on the 29th, uh, and that is actually the case for the Z3 Play. Uh, but the difference here, this is going to be more of an entry-level device. 5.7-inch display, 3 gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes internal storage, and you can add a micro SD card, but it's 128 gigabytes, not the 2 terabytes. Uh, this one runs Android 8.0 as well. Uh, this has a Snapdragon 427 processor. That's a quad core. So it's more of your entry level. Uh, nothing super powerful, but for a lot of people, the price point can't beat it. Uh, it is an unlocked device. Now that works with AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, and T-Mobile. So if you need a device or if you're looking for your first device, this makes a a good choice for uh, pretty much all carriers and all entry-level basic users. Staying with Amazon, they announced today, or it announced today, that you can now get the Fire TV Cube. It's a $120 item that sits in your, uh, generally, your living room or family room, and you can use that to kind of control your television. Uh, you can also hook it up to your cable boxes, sound bars, receivers, and things that you can kind of control the playback so you can play stop fast forward uh, you can control that but you can also tie that into your applications uh, so if you have things like netflix accounts hulu you have your deeper hooks you can do more control over those as well and because it's an amazon alexa powered device the fire tv cube also lets you do things like check the weather news dim the lights and things like that so look for that from amazon for 120 dollars Instagram today announced, actually, no, it would have been yesterday, uh, that is now offering IGTV. It's a standalone app or service that uh, takes people who want to create video or share video 
uh, beyond one minute. This is perfect. You can, you can use it for up to an hour uh, to broadcast your video. Um, things are broken down into channels. So pretty much anybody can be a channel, but I imagine this is going to be where you see brands really start to increase their social media presence or try to offer um, exclusive access or insight into how things work. Uh, when you open it up, you'll find that you can go into things that are popular, the videos or channels that you're following. You can also continue watching things where you left off. And similar to the Instagram experience, you can like or comment, and you can also send them as messages uh, to other users. And wrapping things up, we talked about Pokemon Go earlier this week as being available to... Uh, not available, but launching friends and trading. Uh, it is now available as of airtime here today for level 40 players. If you are a Pokemon Go player and you are level 40, you can make friends with others and you can start to send and receive gifts and trade with one another. This will ideally uh, roll out here in a short window to other players. It's not quite clear how quickly they'll do that, but we've seen Niantic or um, the Pokemon Go app do this before. I believe it was for raids in the past. Uh, you'll start to see the window kind of quickly open up to let other people in and do that. So as of Thursday the 21st, you can now make friends and trade with one another. Uh, so that's going to do it. You can see that this is a nice, short, sweet, and kind of to the point thing without the second and third voice here it does kind of speed things along and i want to know if you like that or if you don't uh, please give us some feedback at podcast at androidguys.com we'd love to hear whether you think it's a good format uh, or if you'd like the second and third voice if that's nice to have that commentary to bounce off uh, we want to keep this more of a, a brief things you need to know format things that have a lot of um editorial or analysis that's going to be more uh geared for the hot take episodes and what we do for those is if somebody announces a, a new phone or a carrier rolls out something that's uh, big and worthwhile we will do a standalone episode where we just kind of get together as a couple of us and just talk about what was announced the implications the uh our perspective on things and just kind of share it as a uh standalone bottle episode uh, we've got some other fun formats in the uh, pipeline as well so keep an eye on that um, if you want to find more of our podcasts you can go to androidguys.com slash podcast and you'll find that we've done about uh, 14 episodes of this so far since we've revisited the podcast format and uh, we're interested to hear what you think what are we doing that you like what are we doing that you don't care for and we'll make some adjustments. Um, you can find these podcasts pretty much anywhere you would normally listen. Uh, Google Play Music, iTunes, Stitcher, Pocket Casts. You can also subscribe to the RSS and just put it in whatever player you have. Uh, you can find the episodes recorded every couple of days, and we share those, and then we will also share them kind of in the off days as well for other people who might have missed it the first time around. Uh, we like to do this for you guys and we enjoy that. But if there's some things that you would like to see differently, please let us know. We are more than happy to take that into consideration. Uh, we're playing around with things basically in the real world. And uh, we're kind of watching closely as to what we like to do, what we want to do. But, you know, you guys are the listeners. So definitely let us know how you feel about the format. Uh, if you like this standalone type of stuff as a one person voice. Uh, typically we're going to keep that nice and short. Uh, we do try to keep it under 15 minutes if there's more than one of us, but I think we could keep it under 10 if we're doing it by ourselves. So with that, I'm going to get out of here. My name is Scott Webster. I'm the editor in chief for AndroidGuys.com, and I appreciate you listening today. Have a great day.